It's Angry Ranner Gaming, you son of a bit. <laughs> Yo, what's going on there, YouTube? It's your Giga Chad Playing Boy here, Marcus Levy, the Angry Ranter. For episode number seven of Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition Survival Mode. In the last episode, we got to Dragon's Reach. <laughs> and basically completed two quests in one. <laughs> I think I've now dumped the majority of my inventory. I have the ability to purchase property in the city, but obviously properties... Uh, for people who don't know, the first starter house, which is this one right here, is Bree's home. It costs 5,000 gold. We're a little um, fifth, of the, fifth of the way toward that kind of short. <laughs> but soon we will have our bodacious pad, which will be really nice. But the thing that we need to go do now <laughs> is fight the dragon. You tried mercenary work? <laughs> So, we're going to go do that right now. <laughs> and once we fight the dragon, we unlock the ability to shout. And, of course, that's like the whole appeal of Skyrim, right? <laughs> that, and of course, it's one of the few RPGs, well, at least Elder Scrolls, Skyrim is one of the few RPGs where you can just basically play the game... And you play the game as whatever class you want. There's no rush. Uh, there's no need to choose a certain class or something like that like there was in the previous games. I myself have uh, really never played Oblivion or Morrowind. I've got... <laughs> you know, we're following these guys. I've got some hours in Morrowind and Oblivion and even Arena. I've never touched Daggerfall, even though I own all these games. <laughs> but this one was my favorite. It was the first introduction for me. This open world, when I first booted it up on the 360 in, I want to say, early 2012. <laughs> what? I was like, you're going to a different spot. AI can't figure out what it's trying to do here. So I'm going to put the Hunting Bow of Fatigue on. <laughs> now remember, since we are playing on survival mode, you know, like I actually have to carry a torch to keep myself warm in some cold places. Otherwise, you know, no signs of any I'll take right serious now, damage. Sure <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want to walk all this way, so I'm going to quick save the game here. <laughs> We've got to figure out what happened. <laughs> and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Let's kick some ass. Spread out. Spread out and look for clues and survivors do. and all that jazz. <laughs> 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 okay, here we go. Hustle a bit. <laughs> now, I've done a lot in this game before, so obviously I know how this works. <laughs> no, get back. <laughs> still here somewhere. Porky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Uh-oh. I'm gonna crouch. There he is. Let's fuck him up. Hiya! Uh, hiya! Oh, did I get him? <laughs> this is of fatigue, so I'm hoping I get something here. Oh, come on. Land, you lizard. Hiya! Damn it. Oh, baby. Don't you land around me. Oh, fuck! No! No, no, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Uh. That's not gonna help me. Um. Oh, he resisted. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Okay, hold on. And I am playing on a slightly higher diff. So. Okay, pot shot time. Yes, be distracted by other people. I'm not the Dragonborn yet. Like, come on. Why am I using Iron Arrow? This weak sauce, bro. Gotta put these steel arrows on. 
They're still kind of weak sauce, but they're better than the Iron Arrows. Pull forward! No, you don't. Okay, I'm going in there. Fuck him up! That's right, asshole. Oh, God. Alright, here we go. Pump him! I was like, that hit. <laughs> come on, dragon. Eat shit! Oh, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Run! Oh, fuck. There we go. Yes, it's right, Earlith. Get in there. You're an unkillable character. Get in there. I'll go in once it's uh, a little bit weaker. Okay, guess I'm going in. Earlith out of the way. Yes, I got it. There we go. <laughs> Quick save. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so can I carry this shit? Okay, I can, and that's gonna be worth quite a quite a hot amount of money. Oh, baby, that's that that was something. <laughs> so I think we're a little hungry. So I'm gonna just quickly knock back some stuff here. <laughs> Eat after a nice meal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a nice match. I am Gigatrad, the powerful. <laughs> Dragon Soul Absorbed. Yes, I know. I now have the ability to do that. <laughs> uh, oh, what? Damage, damage. Oh, from the mead. Okay. <laughs> Voice of the Emperor. There we go. Unrelenting Force. <laughs> Fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> Dragonborn. <laughs> Dragonborn, what do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Sky, <laughs> the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I think you might be right. Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's right. My so, I'm going to just quick save real quick. I want to hustle in here. One of the thing, things I almost never do, because I've done this uh, initial dragon battle so many times, I don't remember if there's a chest up here or not. <laughs> you know, most towers have one. No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> now we got to go back to town. And of course, now that uh, Mir Mulner has been destroyed, and <laughs> by that we absolutely mean destroyed. <laughs> um, now I obviously will have dragons in the o we'll have dragons in the overworld now, and at the level that we're at, which is only level six, yeah, you can't expect that I'm going to be able to defeat whatever the fuck comes at me right away. And so, it's going to be one of those things where for at least a hot minute until we hit a much higher level, I'm not comfortable, especially playing on Expert, actually, you know, attacking the dragons that uh, come after me yet. But we'll get there. Trust me. We will. <laughs> Still a lot yet to do. And Skyrim is one of those games, you know, because it's Bethesda, that has tons of different quests. <laughs> We're going to be going up there. You see that little castle up there? Faintly at the top there? We're going to be going to that. <laughs> but first, one of the things I'm going to want to do is... Uh, yo, what's with the hustler here? Yo, you hustling to me? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. I'm not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Oh, this is like just 
a random radiant quest trying to tell me that there's uh, a, a place for me to go. Uh, that only the Dragonborn can go. <laughs> oh, I've already read that one. So, letter from a friend. Find the source of power at Volk's Giga. Yeah, Giga Chad. You caused a bit of the stir at Western Watchtower when you demonstrated the power of your thum. Not everyone's anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero. You should turn your attention to Volk's Giga. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can be unlocked by the Dragonborn. There are quests to go to this particular place. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have it active here? So if we were to find the source of power in Volks, that's up here. <laughs> Near Solitude. Um, also, I love how Mirror Watch is already unlocked. I guess that's because it's a, a runoff caverns. I'm not sure why some of these places are already unlocked to me. <laughs> Tundra Homestead. What the Christ is that? Okay, those are some new areas with the Anniversary Edition. <laughs> okay, never mind. New areas, things for us to explore. But yeah, one of the things I want to do with Giga Chad first, gain a little bit more EXP, of course, gain some money, and hopefully get that starter home before we make our way out so I have a place. Because, like, look, we've only got a carry weight of half of what you would normally have at this point in the game. <laughs> in the base game. So... Getting the starter home means we can offload things, and we can kind of create a little sentimental hearth with all of our, you know, old items and things like that. <laughs> Am I still carrying, like, my original iron daggers? I'm not, but... <laughs> you know, it will come. <laughs> so let's head back into town. Here we go. <laughs> That quest you can complete either the short way or the long way. And I know how to complete it in, like, arguably two or three minutes. Um, <laughs> not sure if Anniversary Edition patched any, anything uh, related to it, but uh, you could easily complete it by just going and talking to the right person and stuff like that. <laughs> A good way to make some quick cash. <laughs> So what have you got for sale? Now, she will buy these. <laughs> which I consider quite important, because we have way too fucking many of them. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> I'll take the uh, Cure Disease Potion recipe. Absolutely. And do you have... <laughs> she does. I don't quite want to spend... Oh, damn it. I'll buy one. I will buy one potion of cure disease. <laughs> and then what I've also got here, where is it? There it is. So it is charred skeever hide and mud crab chitin. Okay. So now that I know that, <laughs> I know the two things that I would need to make them. <laughs> and also we've cut down our carry weight considerably, but Bellathor will have the rest of kind of what we need. Just about everybody in or the rest of the yeah. money. Some may call this hopefully. <laughs> okay. Miscellaneous. Take these scales. <laughs> Books. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Apparel, you can take that. And you can take the guard armor, too, because I don't need that. And you can take this steel mace, too. <laughs> Do come back. All right, let's go talk to the Jarl Whiterun. <laughs> then we're gonna pick up some some quests and things. <laughs> Air is comfortable here, yeah, of course. <laughs> Cause picking up quests will be the cloud kind of very important. Often. Oh, shut up, Nazim! You're a meme. <laughs> and people fucking murder your ass because you're a fucking meme. <laughs> there has been talk amongst the gods that you, that you are. Dragonborn. But such a thing, surely it's not possible. It is, though. I could shout at you right now. But then you guys would get really angry because you're like, uh, excuse me, Mr. Um, Dragonborn, could you please not shout around here? <laughs> Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. Of course. So what happened at the Watchtower? <laughs> Was the dragon there? <laughs> the Watchtower was destroyed. 
but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irelef. <laughs> there must be more to it than that. <laughs> when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. In so it's true. <laughs> Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, <laughs> they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? <laughs> that was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just you know, with his crossed arms and his whole, one like, one Nord nonsense and complete dismissal. <laughs> Not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, <laughs> it revealed something in you. And the Greybeards heard it. They did. If they think you're dragonborn, <laughs> no, 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 no. to argue. You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. You know, after we do some other things. Refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care. You are drained. Thank you for getting fatigued in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. I guess my guy needs a Learn fucking nap. You. <laughs> You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of White Rock. Thane. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl. Uh -huh. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are Might have to actually to have use you Lydia. as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Prometheus. We still have a city Sweet. to defend. So, he gave me <laughs> a very nice axe I will not use, but I will keep because eh, it's kind of a memento. <laughs> uh, my guy is absolutely yes, exhausted, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so I think a midday nap will serve him. can hardly stand it. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house car. It's an honor to serve you. It takes away. Mainly because we only have half carrying capacity. <laughs> so, I am more than fine, I guess, to finally to have a follower. I mean, there's a quest you can do in Riverwood that can give you a halfway decent follower. <laughs> but, until I get the house, she just kind of sit around and do nothing. <laughs> so, let us go. <laughs> <laughs> a lot a lot happier with a belly full of meat. So let's get Roland over here. <laughs> so you can spend it on drinks at the Bannered Mare. If it's free. <laughs> so let's go on in here. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. <laughs> you know what? I've got an idea. Let me get a little bit more EXP. Think you can go blade a blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. I'm a beat your ass. Of the <laughs> is the fire that forges the oh, strongest I said that's the wrong thing. It's an old Nord mm. proverb. That and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. 
uh, think you can take me on. And why not? <laughs> I could beat anyone in this city. <laughs> Barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. <laughs> Alright, you're on. Just fists. No Sorry. weapons, no magic, no crime. Let's go. Come on. Fuck her up. I'm gonna beat your ass. Someone do something. This is an old disguise of staunch characters. The Imperials. The Imperials. Imperial scum. Damn you. Oops. Oops, did I drink that? Okay, you know, there's something that I need to do. So she said no magic, so I literally cannot heal myself during this. I might have made a whoopsie. There we go, I think I leveled up, though. Ah, running! Fuck. So my question is, if I were... To use this to heal myself. That count? I, I think as long as I didn't attack her with magic, right? Because it's not fair. I went on a big old quest. So you can eat that. There we go. Oh, that's what I call a good bar brawl. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. She didn't say I cheated. <laughs> no lie. Best fight I've had in years. <laughs> there you are. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing how you handle a few trolls. Cool. <laughs> so, the only reason to do that was one, if we're gonna nap, remember, you, we can only level up while sleeping. Sorry, Lydia. Out of my chambers. <laughs> Damn it, Lydia. Anyway. Oh, I thought I still owned this bed. Oh, was, I didn't think there was a little balcony thing here. Okay, coming down. As she's limping her way back. <laughs> if it's worth, sure thing, it's yours for a day. <laughs> take the room. Let's say What do you have? <laughs> I'll take some of those. I want something good here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Which is that pogfish? <laughs> I'll take the rabbit haunch and the steak. I'll show you to your room right this way. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna have a cooked pogfish and an ale. <laughs> and take a quick little afternoon nap. Uh, my guy's gonna sleep for two hours. <laughs> Which will allow us to level. So I'm actually gonna go for a stamina boost. So that we can carry more things. <laughs> anything on the sneak wheel that I can do? Okay, I need at least 30. So then, anything on the archery wheel? I'll take overdraw the second. Let's see anything else you need. <laughs> Perfect. But the anything else I need will be in the next episode, <laughs> as that's where I'm going to call it for episode 7 of Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition. <laughs> going to pick up some new quests, and we're going to keep on rolling now that we're level 7. So far, a level in episodes. Pretty crazy, isn't it? But <laughs> see you in episode 8. Like and subscribe. Peace out.